Hi guys, it's Jean here and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to do a makeup tutorial and if you haven't seen my last video, I post up a review on some Colourpop products. So today I'm going to do a tutorial with these products. So let's go! Now I've already prepped my face with moisturiser because my skin's a little bit dry because it's winter. But for foundation today I'm using the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. And I'm just going to use this by putting some foundation dotted on my face and going through with a dense round kabuki brush to blend that in. For concealer today, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I'm going to use this to cover up any blemishes or dark spots that I have. I tend to break out and get more dry pimples in winter. Now for contouring, I'm using the Colourpop Sculpture Stick. This is the Renaissance Contour Stick. And it does look a little bit intimidating because it comes out as really dark brown. But it actually blends in nicely. So I'm going to draw a line in where I would normally contour. On my cheeks, my jawline, as well as along my nose to give me a sharper, thinner nose. Now using the Colourpop Sculpting Stick, this is in Relief, which is a highlighter. And I want to use this to highlight my face. So highlight down my nose as well as under my eyes and just along my cheeks as well. And once that's done, I'm going to go through with a blending sponge to just blend that all in. Moving on to my eyebrows, so now I'm using the Marc Jacobs Brow Wow Defining Longwear Pencil and this is in Ash Brown. So I'm going to use this to create a shape of my eyebrows and then once that's done, I'm going to go ahead with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel in Brunette. And I'm going to use this to highlight my brows just to blend it all in so it matches my hair colour as well. Now moving on to eyeshadow, so I want to use the Colourpop eyeshadow in Cornelius and I'm just going to use this as a base colour for my eyelids. So I want to use a blending brush and apply this just all over my eyelids and also concentrating on the crease and socket of my eyes. Next I'm going to use the K-Pop Sunset Boulevard which is a nice shimmery gold and I want to use this as the eyeshadow colour on my eyelids. So I'm going to use the same blending brush and I'm going to grab this product and just pat that onto the eyelids focusing on the centre. Next up I'm using Vanity Fair which is a nice metallic bronze colour. I want to apply this using a smaller dense blending brush just into the socket of my eyes just to blend that in and make it look a little bit more deeper and I'm also going to apply a little bit under the corner of my eyes as well just to blend that in with the whole look. Now I'm using the colour Midnight which is a nice dark shimmery colour and I'm going to use this to, on the ends of my eyes and just blend that in towards the middle of my eyes to give it a more smoky look. And the last eyeshadow I'm going to use is called Alchemy, which is a nice shimmery champagne colour. And I'm going to use my fingers to apply this into the corner of my eyes just to appear more brighter as well. Now to clean up the eyeshadows, I'm also going to use the highlighter and apply a bit of that onto the blending sponge and apply that onto my brow bone just to clean it up and blend everything in. And for eyeliner today, I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. And today I'm just going to apply a classic wing look. 
And for mascara today, I'm using the Rimmel London Glamize Day to Night. So this is a two-in-one mascara, and I'm going to use the volume mascara on my top lashes, as well as applying some false lashes. And on the bottom lash, I'm going to use the length mascara. Now to finish off the face, I'm using the NARS Duo palette in Orgasm and Laguna and I'm going to use the Laguna bronzer just to go back through and contour my hollows of my cheeks again just to make it a little bit more um, defined and I'm also going to use the Orgasm which is a blush colour on my cheeks. And moving on to the lips, I'm going to use the Colourpop Lippy Pencil in Lady. And I'm going to use this to outline the outside of my lips. And then I'm going to go through with the Colourpop Ultra Satin in Mess Around. And I'm going to apply a layer on this on my lips as well. And that's it. This is the final look. I think it's wearable during the day and night. If you're not comfortable wearing a darker lipstick during the day, you can wear a lighter one. Um, but the eyeshadows are subtle enough to get through the day as well. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to watch more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.